Hello friends, in today's video we are going to do unboxing and testing of newly launched 3D printer from Creality and this is a Creality High Combo which is an advanced and affordable multicolor 3D printer in the market. So let's open the box. This box is already open for custom inspection and I am going to open this first time while recording. I received a combo product. Inside this we have a printer and one CFS unit. Product buying details are in the description. After opening the box we have some PTFE tubes and some cables for CFS unit setup. Here is a filament buffer which allows to connect up to 4 CFS to print 16 colors. Removing some foams we have a CFS unit. For now let's take this aside. Inside this box there is a step by step instruction printed in order to unpack the printer. One thing I can say Creality did a great job on packaging with also they guide us how to unpack this machine. Thanks Creality. These are some accessories that I have taken out from the box. And here is a base component packed with lots of foam and couple of zip ties. Power cable to power up this machine and this is a gantry frame assembly which looks clean and modern with newly designed motion system and extruder head. This printer comes with a 95% pre-assemble. You just need to cut a few zip ties and we have a dual sided flexible epoxy build plate. It holds the model well during the printing process and gives a nice surface finish. Remove the protective foam and place a build plate on its position that is on a magnetic bed and slide it towards the front. Now attach the top gantry to the base component and place it firmly in its place. You just need to tighten up these 7 screws to finish this assembly. Here we take editing help to tighten up these screws. Plug the Z-axis motor cable. Do the same on other side too. And put a protective cover on these slots. Connect patch cord to X-axis motor which go through these clamps. Mounting spool holder is completely optional. If you are going to use a CFS then you don't need to do this. As I will test with a single color filament to test out its print quality. Fix the anti-tangle spool holder on its position and tie it up with screws. Connect the PTF tube from anti-tangle to the extruder head. Now it's time to connect the main power cord and turn on the machine. Unfold the display and remove the protective cover on it. This feels so satisfying. On screen, select the language, agree the policy, connect to your local Wi-Fi network. It go through a self-check process. This checks its dual Z motors, limit switches and nozzle heating and many more things. This will take some time to finish. Till this checking going on, let me tell you its main highlighting features. Creality High has an all metal body with unibody parts die cast out of element alloy. It looks stylish and ensure minimum shaking. The build volume of this printer is 260 by 260 by 300 mm which is enough for small to medium size project. It has a direct drive extruder head with metal gear. Also has a built-in filament turnout sensor and accelerometer, auto Z offset and auto bed leveling handle by strain gauge, 0.4 mm nozzle made of dry metal hard and steel. It can reach up to 100 degrees Celsius, which is enough to print material like Hyper PLA, PLA, PET G, ABS, carbon fiber and TPU, and bed can heat up to 100 degrees Celsius. The extruder head contains a dual cooling fan to cool down freshly printed layers. On the other side, it has a filament cutter and the purge wiper. These are the part of the automatic system used to load and unload the filament. For the motion system, we have a linear rail on the x-axis and two linear rod on the y-axis. These help to elevate the print quality considerably. The maximum print travel speed is up to 500 mm per second with typical print speed of 300 mm per second. On the left side of printer, there is a RFID scanner. If you are using Creality Hyper PLA with RFID, simply tap the reader with the filament spool and detect the filament type and color. If you are using other filament, then you have to add manually on the touch screen. It also has a HD camera to monitor a printing process and recording the timeless footage. We also have a 3.2 inch color touch screen and this can be adjusted to change the tilt angle or to be folded back. The display has a clear user interface and easy to navigate for starting a print. Adjusting settings and basic print operation. Touch screen feel responsive and easy to use. Creality High has a built-in Wi-Fi for file sharing and remote access on a PC with Creality Print software. There is a USB port for printing through USB drive and for secondary method to download timeless footage. You can also use Creality Cloud app to remote printing and monitoring. You can start a print or do some settings and download your model from online. It's very handy app. Alright guys, self-check is done. Now it's time to load filament. I am using latest Creality Hyper filament. It has a RFID. I just place it close to RFID reader, which is on the side of the 3D printer. 
it gained its type and color automatically fit information in the system mount a spool on its holder and fit through the anti-tangle holder into the extruder handy blue light will light up let you know the filament is enough then over the menu on the touch screen press on the extruder to load the filament so it's pretty easy process to load and unload the filament manually in the printer i choose blue color to print blue help to see print quality because blue show more details compared to other color that i have first model i decided to print a bench port and this is a standard bench port with 0.2 mm layer height our remaining settings are default i use creality print software to slide this model it's a good first test print to check out and confirm the printer working well The finished model printed in 14 minutes. It looks very good. The layer are 0.2 mm height, which still looks alright. I barely feel the printed layers and it got a nice smooth surface finish. I don't find any cooling related issues with model. Next model I am printing a passenger airline which is a Boeing 787. It's in two pieces so when it finish I have to stick it with glue. To make this model perfect, these two pieces must be printed accurately especially on its bottom layer. This model has a fine details like cockpit windows, passenger windows and track fairing under a wing. This detail should be printed accurately. Hope this machine will not disappoint us. It took 1 hour and 8 minutes to print this. Everything seems perfect. Details of its wings looks good. Let me just glue it these two pieces. Here it looks very good like it printed in one piece. Joint line is hardly visible to see. It turned out great. Each details printed very accurately. Look at the front section of nose, under of wings, and result is in front of you. Well, it's time to test multicolor prints. For that, we need to connect CFS. To set up this, we need a buffer which allow to connect CFS with the printer. Apply this double-sided tape on buffer. This tape come with the box. Peel off the tape cover and stick to the side of gantry frame. Remove PTFE tube from anti-tangle mount and connect to the buffer. On the top side of there is only one connection port. Now let's connect these cables. Shorter cable connect from buffer to CFS and longer cable connects the printer to CFS. We need to make our last connection. Connect a long PTFE tube from buffer bottom side of any of four port to the CFS. CFS setup is done. Filament loading into CFS, you just need to fit a bit of filament in the tube and remaining will automate it. If the spools are Creality RFID ones, it will automatically read the material settings and color. You can also use other filament, then you have to add them manually. It holds 4 rolls of filament. CFS stands for Creality Filament System, which is a smart material management system. It automatically fit to the extruder. It also changes filament during a multicolor printing. CFS is airtight seal, which keeps the filament clean and dry. At the front, it has a humidity and temperature sensor displayed on the LED screen, allowing us to check the status. This time, we're gonna print a color benchy board to test out CFS and multicolor printing potential. To print this model, this machine will need to take a 3.67 meters of filament, and total filament it will take around 10 meter. Now, point is, will it provide a great print quality? Let's find out. While printing a pencil board, this machine needs to change a filament around 19 times, so this will take some more additional time to finish this model. Watching this filament changing process and printing with the multicolor is truly amazing for first time viewer, and I am also one of them. It took a 1 hour and 16 minutes to finish this model. Finish model looks amazing and all the color filament layer printed well. No layer shifting during color changing, it's smoothly printed in one solid model. 
it also flush out flamid it's kind of a waste at the moment and it flush out around the same amount of material that it needed to print well next model i choose a kiwi bird it is a very complicated to print because it has a very fine details this will be printed in three different color for eyes blue and gold for legs and beak rest of body print out of white pla so this is a very time taking process to finish this model loading and unloading will happen so many time during a printing because it will need to change filament in each starting layer to print this model successfully cfs need to be worked smartly because this will send a filament into a extruder according to model color painted This model printed out after many hours of printing. The finished model took a 4 hours and 48 minutes to complete it. Model turned out very well. The details are incredible even on the smaller parts. Each detail printed out very clean. There is a no color bleeding in the model. To print such an articulated model, it need to be print each layer with high precision. This machine really performed very well. Look at all the material it flushed during the filament changes. It's a bit of wasteful, but the print quality is definitely worth it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Well, I am happy with the multicolor printing result, but still I choose to print some more model on this machine. Here I print this mini aircraft in two pieces. This one also print out very well. After sticking these parts, it turn out into one piece. Slightly layers are visible on the side of fuselage, but that will be improved by the changing the model print orientation in the software. I also print this Aero L39 Albatross aircraft model with 4 color. Each of these color part are printed separately, then glue it together and it looks pretty scale. Look at the cockpit windows and aileron on wings. Everything printed very accurately. If you want to download model that I print in this video, I put all the details in the description. Last model I am going to print through a USB drive, which is a print in place gear bearing. I print with Creality Hyper Carbon Fiber Filament. To print such a model, it's really important to have a good bed level at a first layer and enough clearance to work perfectly. Well, the printed bearing looks good and each gear rotating freely without any issues. It got a nice smooth matte surface finish on outer side. I can feel it. Well, I test out lots of models. Some of them are multicolor and single color. Each of them printed very perfectly. I don't have any printing related issues. I'm happy with the result. Well, thanks Creality. This isn't a paid, just my honest opinion. Get your own quality high combo, link below. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.